Capital has always been a solid operator. His gadget gives you the ability to cut off lines of sight with ease or to deny a rotation from the defenders entirely. He has seen some balancing changes over the years. However, I think right now he is the strongest he has ever been. And honestly, you should probably be running him in your lineup. First things first, his gadget is incredibly strong. Capital can provide aerial denial and smokes to his team all in one gadget. If you compare this to the most recent operators added to Siege, Sins and Grim, he can accomplish both of their jobs, but better. His gadget is faster to deploy, his fire covers a larger area compared to Grim, and his smokes are easier to deploy than Sins. On top of all of this, his fire is deadly to defenders unlike Grim's bees. So if a defender is caught in the fire of Capital, they must move. This makes his gadget really strong to clear out pesky defenders behind a shield or a strong position. A great example of this is Blue or Construction on Oregon. However, Capital is strong on virtually any map. Anyways, majority of the time, there will be a smoke playing in the blue behind a deployable shield. You can use Capital's smokes to cover your peaks. Then you can swing the smoke with your fire bolt out and clear him from the shield easily. In this situation, I would recommend having a teammate swing out with you, just in case if the smoke decides to peek you with his SMG 11. Also, if you wanna make Capital even stronger in these situations, you can ban Wamai. Since Capital bolts aren't caught by ADSs, you can preemptively ban Wamai, and this will allow you to use your gadget pretty much freely without any possible counters. I've been utilizing this to my advantage in ranked, and it is single-handedly won me rounds. His strength doesn't just stop at his gadget, however. His loadout is also incredibly strong. Currently, he has access to the M249 and the Para 308 as primary options, which the M249 has solid damage, decent fire rate, and despite the LMG nerf, he has limited recoil. As for the Para 308, it has the exact same stats as the M249, with the exception of magazine size, ADS time, and sights available. Which, by the way, his Para has access to a 2x sight, and the M249 has everything up to a 2.5x. Having access to these sights these days is kind of rare, and they just add on to the already solid stats his weapons possess. Me personally, I use the M249 religiously. This thing is a menace. As we've learned over the past couple of seasons, having access to a 100 round magazine at a good fire rate is meta, and the M249 possesses just that. As for his secondary options, he has access to the PRB-92 handgun and the GON-6. The PRB is a solid handgun, don't get me wrong, but you should always be running the GON-6. This secondary allows you to provide even more utility to your team than you already do. Just in case if you don't know what a GON-6 does, basically it's a hand cannon that shoots one explosive bullet. This bullet will destroy any gadget it comes in contact with. It's mainly useful to clear out things like deployable shields, maestro cams, or castle barricades. There is no real downside to bringing the GON-6, especially if you're running the M249 since it has a magazine size of 100 bullets. You should never have to switch to your secondary when you're running the LMG. As for his secondary gadgets, he also brings a lot to the table. He has access to claymores and hard breach charges. I personally think that hard breach charges are the clear pick here. They can allow Capital to breach reinforced hatches, make a vaultable breach in a wall, or to just breach soft walls and castle barricades. The amount of utility these and the GON-6 give him is insane. If you watch my video about Zero, I talked about this in depth in that video as well. What makes this so much stronger on Capital specifically is in combination with his primary gadget. Capital's primary gadget already brings a ton of utility to the table. So having access to hard breach charges on top of this and access to the GON-6 gives him a ton of utility overall. In conclusion, I think you should be bringing Capital way more than you likely are currently. He is currently in the bottom 10 when it comes to pick rate. He's down there with operators like Scali, Sins, Grim, and Zero. I just think Capital is miles ahead of those operators. He definitely deserves a lot more love from the overall Siege community. He has really good guns, an incredibly good gadget that could honestly rival some of the best attackers in the game right now, amazing secondary gadgets, and he has an insane amount of versatility. Capital is one of those operators that you can run on pretty much any map and any bomb site, and he'll still provide you plenty of utility. He is incredible in the post plant and he can be useful to clear out defenders in strong positions. Hopefully, people will start realizing his potential and we'll start to see his pick rate go up over the next couple of seasons, but we'll have to see. Anyways, hopefully you guys found the information in this video useful and maybe you'll begin to pick Capital more. If you disagree with me when it comes to Capital, let me know in the comments down below. I enjoy talking to you guys about these things and I, I just like to see what other people's opinions are on these topics. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you could consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 3K subs by the end of the year and your sub could legitimately make a difference. If I haven't earned your sub yet, that's totally fine. You can go and watch this video where I talk about Lion's Fall from Grace and hopefully that'll change your mind. Anyways, I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.